Hello and welcome to this powerful weekly reading. So this is from Monday the 17th of October right through to Sunday. It's going to be for everyone including a focused reading at the end for Twin Flames and we're going to see what's coming in. Now as we move towards the weekend we're moving and transitioning into Scorpio energy. So that means we're moving from air into water so there could be a lot of emotion around and you're being reminded to watch your thoughts and your words because your words and your thoughts have power. So instead of rushing in, take your time and respond with love. So I'm going to bring in two decks of cards this week, the Enchanted Map and the Angel Power Wisdom cards. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around us all moving forward? Wow. And what's the energy around Twin Flames? Wow. Love it when they just jump out this way. It's super powerful. The energy around us all moving into this week. There we go. And the energy around Twin Flames. What do we need to know? The energy around Twin Flames. And if you want more information, remember I do do the horoscope readings on a Sunday too, where you can check out your sign and your twin sign or anyone who you're interested about checking out. So they will all be there too. So the energy of this week, then we've got solitude. Now, when we get solitude coming out, it's always because we need to go within for the answers. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be alone or you're going to be lonely. It means the answers are within you. And, you know, I'm seeing this as a very powerful lighthouse. And when we go within, we can reflect, we can work out what we want. We can be given guidance. We can understand our truth. So this is also a great sign of illumination and power, especially as we move towards the new moon, which is coming in the week after. And that new moon is going to bring in self-discovery and understanding about what to do. So this is kind of the stage, the preparation stage before the action. So the moon is bringing in a reflection so we can see better, so we can understand better and grow. So I feel this is the opportunity this week to become the observer of your thoughts and your feelings, your emotions. And instead of reacting, you know, responding instead, which brings in power. We've also got wizard of awareness. So when we go within, we become aware. You know, when we ask for help, we pray. When we receive answers, we calm our mind, we meditate, we breathe. So this is going to be a week of awareness where we become aware of certain things, things make more sense. It's going to be a week of clarity. And really, that really resonates with what Archangel Uriel is doing this month. You know, at the beginning of the month, I spoke about that, that Uriel is shedding light on all the things that Archangel Nathaniel has brought up to the surface for healing. So this is where we become aware of things. We become aware of our surroundings. We become aware of things we need to change. We become aware of connections and things going wrong or going right. And remember, this is also for your twin flame too, even though this is a general reading. So we become aware of things that we need to change or things we need to do. And we've got details, details. So it's about fine tuning the details, working things out. So this could be a week of planning and plotting. And, you know, this isn't just for the twin flame journey. This isn't everything. So if you're becoming aware that your life isn't serving you in a certain way, which means you may need to change your job, you may need to move house, you may need to stop being around those crazy people who drag you down and naysay and drag you into gossip. It's time to sort out the details. So the angels are really asking you to ask for their assistance this week because they can assist you with the details and they can help you to understand what to do. And we've got encouragement. And I love that we've got the giraffe because the giraffe is about perception. You know, giraffes are very tall. So when we stand tall and we see things from a higher perspective, we receive all the encouragement we need. So the encouragement you need to continue to carry on, to not give up, is coming from heaven this week is coming from that higher place because your higher self knows it's not the right time to give up because you're very close to achieving your goal. We've got patience, wow. So this is going to be a week of patience. And I really am feeling that because, you know, the solitude energy is the hermit energy. So if things are testing your patience, remember you are still learning to be patient. What is patience? 
it means you enjoy where you are. It doesn't mean you're waiting around looking at your clock. It means you're learning to go with the flow. You're learning to surrender. You're learning to let go of conditions around your situation. You know, love does not demand its own way. Love does not hold any record of wrongs. Love does not get impatient. Okay, love is patient, love is kind. So it's about being yourself and enjoying life. It says, no matter what the situation or delay is, your desire will come when it's meant to. So if you're receiving a no from the universe, it just means it's not yet. Things are manifesting. Things are happening. The details are being taken care of. So don't be triggered by that obstacle block delay. Remember at the traffic lights, you're being protected. Okay, if the traffic lights were always green, you'd probably crash into another vehicle. So you have to wait for the way to be made. The angels are working behind the scenes to create the way. And we've got responsibility. So we also have to take responsibility for ourselves and our journey. So instead of blaming others, we have to take responsibility for ourselves and say, okay, I can look at the things in my life now that I can change. And I can take responsibility for that. Maybe you are looking around you at your responsibilities or you're becoming aware of your responsibilities. And that means you have to take care of details. So this could also be about that sense of obligation or duty as we move forward towards Christmas time and into the new year. It says take responsibility for your own happiness. So this means if you look back at your life, bless it. Because it's made you who you are. Happiness is a choice and we can choose it every day, no matter what's going on. So take responsibility for your own happiness. That means don't wait for your twin flame to be happy. Don't think you need to be in a relationship with them for you to be happy. Or you need to have more money to be happy. Or you need this or that to be happy because you can be happy now. The choice is yours in this moment. This life can be heaven or hell. It's up to you how you perceive it from a higher perspective. So bless the past and feel at peace, feel free. And as you move towards this new moon, this is the opportunity for you to not only discover yourself and what you want in your life, but to find true happiness within. We've got gratitude. So the angels are really giving you this energy of gratitude because gratitude multiplies blessings. When we're grateful, we manifest more. When we're grateful, we feel healthier, happier, more, in, more at peace, more in the moment. We notice things more. We become more aware of things. We become more in tune with our divine self. It says, pray for what you need and be grateful for what you have and be grateful for what you have already received. So yes, it's okay to ask for help and pray, but also be very aware of the good things you have. Don't think everything's bad because it's not. It's all about perception. And for the twin flame journey, we've got goblins. So I really feel that, you know, we've got release here as well. The goblin energy is about the things we need to release. So goblins can be mischievous creatures. It can also be evil. So, you know, there could be things around triggering the connection. You may see the karmic partner as a negative energy around the connection, a goblin. Or something that's gobbling up your masculine's time, like his job or an addiction or a codependent behaviour. And remember, these goblins actually bring something into the situation. So they allow us to become aware of the things we do want and the things we don't want. And I talked about this the other day. You know, the way that karmic partners and karmic situations help the connection. Because they help the divine masculine, for example to become very aware of the things they no longer need. They realise, they become aware that that connection is toxic, it's not serving them, it's causing trouble in their life. So they have to release that. If they're in a job and it's very testing to them, if they're feeling angry, stressed out, if they're feeling tired, drained, like they have no time for themselves, they become aware of that. Okay, They're not going to do it forever. So they are becoming very aware through the goblins, through the crazy energy of what they need to release. And this is also about goblins not gobbling up your time. So in other words, don't get distracted by social media and stressing out about what they're doing, being online, checking your phone all the time. This is about you releasing your own inner 
inner fears and inner demons and own, own inner addictions. So it says, let go and focus on what is positive and uplifting. So when the masculines focus on what's positive and uplifting in their life, they are led to you. And they need to release the things that don't bring that in. So choose happiness this week, Divine Feminine, by uplifting your vibration, by focusing on love, not fear. And if that means going within and having some time by yourself, then embrace that. Being single on this journey to union is a blessing because we learn to love ourselves, we do things by ourselves, and we have fun. And you know, not long ago, I went to London on my own for the weekend and I spent time with Sandra and I did my own thing and it felt liberating again. Because being in union, we need that too. We need a sense of, you know, in a way, sensibility. But we need a sense of our own peace and our own independence and our own truth. So, you know, this is showing you. You may be thinking, well, I, I want my journey with my twin. You know, I've had enough alone time. They need alone time if they're with others. But the masculines, they can be around 100 people. But they feel isolated. They feel very lonely inside. They feel alone because nobody gets them but you so enjoy the time you have this week especially to reflect to pray to ask for help to set intentions to determine what you want for your future and to enjoy being in the now if you feel impatient or you're struggling with the when you're still learning to let go of that and to trust in divine timing because the angels are very clearly saying to you and i feel this is the message in every area of your life this week no matter what the situation or delay is, your desire will come when it's meant to. Whether that's something you're manifesting at work, a goal, or your twin flame journey manifesting into union. Or even if you're in union, if you're wanting it to be better or a commitment, it will come when it's meant to. If you're single watching this video wanting love, or you're wondering when your twin flame is actually going to come into your physical reality, not just be around you in your 5D reality. It will come when it's meant to, no matter what. Come what may, no matter what. So trust the journey, you are safe. Have a great week, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.